so today's topic combinational logic circuit combinational logic circuit what is a combinational logic circuit when we say when the logic gates are connected together to produce a specified output for a certain specified combinations of the input variables here in the combinational circuit there are no storage involved so if this is your combinational logic circuit it has n inputs or n input variables to m output variables in simple terms we can say a combinational network or a, it is a circuit in which the output of the function is dependent only on the present or current input value so if we make any changes made to the signal being applied to input will immediately propagate through gates and that will appear on the output so in this diagram let us imagine the set of signals which are applied to the n input terminals at any time and these are called as input states are these input vectors of the network while the set of the resulting signals which appear at the m output side so these are the m output and these are called as output side or output vector so we can say that in a combinational circuit it consists of input variables logic gates and output variables so the logic gate generally accepts the signals from the input variables and they generate the output signals so this transformations of binary information from the given input to the required output is called as combinational logic so today let us also understand the de morgan's theorem in order to solve the various boolean equations so what does the de morgan's theorem say in the de morgan's theorem we know that a into b whole bar is equal to a bar into b bar in the second law a plus b whole bar is equal to a bar into b bar so here a into b bar when as per the de morgan's theory when it is converted a bar plus b bar and a bar plus b a plus b whole bar is nothing but a bar into b bar there are different laws basic rules which are very much useful in manipulating and simplifying the boolean algebra expression let us see different rules rule 1 says a plus 0 is equal to a and a plus 1 is equal to 1 so here a plus 0 is a but a plus 1 is 1 so a into 0 is equal to 0 or a dot 0 is 0 and a dot 1 is equal to a similarly a plus a is equal to a and a plus a bar is equal to 1 a dot a bar is equal to 0 similarly a double bar is nothing but a itself then a plus ab is equal to a and a plus a bar b is equal to a plus b and a plus b into a plus c can be written as a plus bc so these are the different de morgan theorems which we must remember in order to simplify the boolean algebra now let us go through different gates of the different gates of the logic gates which are available and its uh, logic symbol so let us start from not gate in the not gate so not gate has single input so a is the input then y is equal to a bar in your and gate you have two variables or two inputs a into b and the output is represented as y is equal to a into b similarly r gate in the r gate the symbol is of r gate is written like this here again we have two variables a into b and y output y is equal to here a plus b is equal to y similarly nand gates and nor gates nand gates and nor gates are also called as universal gates because any boolean expression k 
can be designed using NAND and NOR gate. That's why NAND gate and NOR gate are called as universal gates. So the symbol for NAND gate is this. Here again the input variables are A and B, but here Y is equal to A into B whole bar and NOR gate. In this NOR gate, we can see A into B. It is represented as Y is equal to A plus B whole bar. Also, we have XR gate and XNOR gate. The symbol for XR gate is A and B. So, this is Y, A, XR, B. If it is to be converted into XNOR, so you have to add the bubble. So, it will become A, XR, B whole bar. So, these are the different gates and its logical symbol. Hope you understood. Thank you.